I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name, YouTube. I'm coming through live, live in my office. Anywhere I go, it's my office. It's a beautiful day here in Philadelphia. It's cloudy, but it's still beautiful. The sun don't chill and the sun don't hide. I'm coming to you today because I want to talk about your personal brand and creating content for your personal brand. Your personal brand is the most important thing that you will have. And once you, the sooner you realize that, the sooner that you can make changes in what you put out there for the universe and you can actually tie it in to something. So I want to give you six tips today on creating content for your personal brand or business. Well, one thing that scares people is the fact, where do I get content? How do I create content? I'm not creative. How do I keep writing? How do I, hey, listen, my thing is when I first created, when I first launched the comfort killers, I knew that content had to move the engine. It had to keep the engine oiled. That's what content does for your brand and business. You go to a website and I'm telling you, even in your own personal experience, you go to a website, you go to someone's page and the last post they had was all the way in 2014. What do you think about that? Now they're trying to sell you something. It's not consistent. There's a gap. What happened there? I am aware and I am going to lose you. I don't know about you, but I go back in time, man. You know, when I have to deal with people, we go back in time. So your personal brand is everything. And we've been doing personal branding wrong. Initially, when I came through, the self-help industry is a huge industry. The pond is full. That's what everyone says. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, okay? It's an industry that I firmly believe in because personal development and self-improvement has helped me out tremendously, exponentially to build my brand and business. So on the bottom layer, foundation, motivation, and inspiration is what I do, okay? As a business aspect, I believe in, you know, let's brand your business Let's put you out there. Let's get out of obscurity because I had to do it. And there's ways that I've did it and there's things that I've done. And I want to give you six tips that I've used into creating content for my personal brand and business. Well, first of all, it's one is what industry are you in? Again, being in, in any industry, there's going to be a lot of fish in a pond, a lot of fish in a sea. You could either go in a swimming pool first, get that filled up, get that oil machine going, or jump into another pond and do that. You know, now you're in with another pond. It's kind of empty there. You're still in the same industry, but you decide to jump into a different pond. You don't want to be like everyone else is what I'm talking about. I knew that this space is flooded. There's motivational speakers. There's inspiration all over. There's Gary Vee. There's Grant Cardone. There's Jim Rohn. There's Zig Ziggs. There's all these great. There's Tony Robbins. The first thing that I've done is separate myself from all of them. And so I could be unique in the industry. Well, the first thing that you're going to see is how unique are you? How unique am I? Okay. I'm African-American. I'm gay. I'm a woman already. I'm, a, I'm I have a unique presence. Okay. So first of all, use what you already have, who you are to be, to set a value add or a unique positioning in a flooded industry that you are already in. So what industry are you in? I chose self-help. I chose personal development because I knew I needed to get uncomfortable to change my life. As you know, that I was addicted 10, 10, nine years plus. All right. And I was going down this path and this jagged edge path and I couldn't take it anymore. So I needed to get uncomfortable in my life. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stay in this space. I like this space. I like what I'm hearing. It changed me tremendously. And now I want to build a business around that space. I jumped in another pond though. Most people, let's say you're a fitness trainer. Tons of fitness trainers. That's a flooded pond. What are you going to do? Are you going to be the same fitness trainer that does A, B, C, D, E? Just like the rest because it's easy to duplicate. I'm telling you, it's easy to duplicate. Or are you going to be different? Now, content comes from me. Every day I get up, I do something specific. I see something. I get enlightened. I jot down something. I jot down a quote. I get enlightened. I want to talk about it. That's content. No matter how big or small when you're first coming or you're still here, uh, you just drop what's you, your opinion. It matters. You are now the expert. Even if you started day one, day one, let's say you're overweight. Okay. Overweight, overexposed, whatever you want to come in and you're going to talk in terms of you developing yourself, everything that you had to do. What are you eating? What are you saying? What are you watching? This, I would love to figure out because you're doing it and you're important and you are an expert. So figuring out, first of all, what industry is your personal brand going to fit in? 
Um, so if you develop that answer, which is the first thing, uh, then you could start building content for that industry. You're not going to be way off. Hey, listen, you're not going to be way off. Right now, you won't see me put out a post on on political, uh, you know, political agendas in Europe. OK, you know, you won't see me put out why Brexit matters. OK, what's happening in Syria? You won't see me put that out. It doesn't align, even though it may have some opinions in that area. It just doesn't align. So I have to keep in touch with my personal brand. The next thing you want to do is figure out what beliefs, values, characteristics do you represent in, through yourself in your industry? Because there's some some beliefs and characteristics Tony Robbins has. OK. You know, he touch you on your shoulders. Sometimes he curses. But that's not states. You know, I can't, I can't come across like that. Love Tony. So what do I do? I'm gonna put out an article that says, you know what? Tony Robbins said I needed better credit to go to Business Mastery. Business Mastery is one of his biggest events. All right. So I, they called me. States. You know what? We can't get you in there, man. You don't have the ten grand. So that is something that happened to me. That is now something I could put out as content as to why and what am I going to do about it. Some people, we need to open the box a little bit. There's some, you know, I just wrote an article on this. It's going to be in your, in the link description so you can get the full gist of it. I'm going to give you three of the six. And the third one here is what vehicle is going to take you there? What vehicle will take you there? As you know, social media, social media has changed the game. Internet has changed the game on a whole. The globe is now a smaller place. The universe is now smaller. I could touch someone in, in, in Singapore. I could touch someone in Asia. I could touch someone in Africa. I could touch someone in Australia. I could touch someone in West Coast, California, all at the same time. Okay, so it, it, there's a the, our global footprint, right, is is really small right now. I can reach someone, and you can too reach someone. So you got to figure out what vehicle is going to take you there. Social media really is the backdrop of all of that. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, uh, YouTube. These are vehicles, and other vehicles that tie in are, you know, you're going to be a coach. Or is coaching seminars are going to take you there? Are books going to take you there? Writing a book is that going to get you? closer to your audience what vehicle tv radio what is it that's going to take you to your audience in your niche now once you develop a personal brand you have to you have to sustain it right you have to sustain it so you now you're focused on yourself creating content is easy people think oh i have to be a creative person there's a way that you could curate content get stats there's other people that developed and wrote other articles already on something. You could add your opinion to it. You could reference that article and add your own steps in what you're doing. You could actually create just out of the air content, things that you're dealing with on your day-to-day -day basis. Another awesome way is that you frequently ask questions. You could go to Cura, okay, Q-U-O-R-A, and see what questions are people asking in relation to your industry. Answer them in content creation. How are you going to do it? Facebook Live, YouTube videos such as what you're watching. Um, you know, how are you going to get your point across? Because again, you have to take yourself out of being an amateur and putting yourself on the expert level. I am Stacey A. Cross. There is no E in my name. It's a beautiful day. But here's the here's what one thing that I want you to get from this is that we can help you. I can help you develop that. I know I was in a barbershop the other day. And my barber was like, man, Stace, I love what you do. I see what you do. And um, I want to develop my personal brand as a expert in barber, in barbarism, <laughs> not barbarianism. Don't chop my head off. In barber, like, you know, he's good at what he does and he wants to fill his chairs and he's only one person, you know? So I asked him, you know, how long do you have to stay here to make a certain amount? And then we kind of divide, use the old trusty calculator. You know, we need to, we need to duplicate ourselves. We need to duplicate something that people could go learn something because that's what life's about. You teach what you know, and that's how you find the riches in the niches. Guys, so I said, give me your Instagram. I want to see what you got. I open up his Instagram, and guess what? It's private. Those are one things that will block your personal branding. It has to be aligned across all medias, all platforms, all websites, all freaking statuses. Everything that you put out there has to tie back to you what you believe in. All right. So again, you kind of have to kind of separate your, your personal life. Okay. And, or mesh them with your personal branding. Uh, personal branding is huge. You're going to need it and you create content around your personal brand, baby. And it all ties back to what a mission. I want you to read the article 
It's a full-blown article. I just created it, and I want you to get with that. Please do so now. TheComfortKillers.com. Jump on it. It should be on the first page or the in the description. You will find the link to it, okay? You can reach me at always, always. You can reach me everywhere you, on all social media, Stacey A. Cross on everything. Or search me up, Stacey A. Cross, The Comfort Killers. And I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Hope you're phenomenal. Hope this provided you some value. If it has, I would love to hear from you. Hello at comfortkillers.com. Hey guys, and go out there, enjoy your day. I am Stacey A. Cross. And there is no E in my name. I love you to death.